What's up guys? I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and right here we have a battle of the greats as far as mountain bike suspension forks go. These are the 2019 RockShock Lyric RC2 and the Fox 36 Grip 2. We're going to see which one comes out on top. So if you're watching this video, you're probably pretty familiar with both of these forks and you're curious about which one's better and which one is maybe better for you, right? Because they both do have some slight differences. To start out though, right off the bat, these things are pretty darn similar. We are same same. Same same, but different, but still same. So they have almost the same exact adjustments. They're very close in price point. They're both the top of the line from each brand as far as an enduro fork goes. And uh, they weigh nearly the same. They even come with pretty much the same stuff in the box. Out of the box, you, they both have star nuts, um, some tokens as well, volume spacers. RockShock does give you a fender, which is pretty cool, as well as a stealth decal kit that comes with these. So Fox 36, available in black or shiny orange. RockShock Lyrics available in black or red. Um, man, these forks are amazing. I've spent some time riding both of them this far. I think it's probably half and half with all the people that are our shop right now that have enduro bikes or running one of these things. I mean, Fox and RockShock is kind of like the old Chevy and Ford debate. They both are two sort of premier suspension companies in the mountain bike world right now. So honestly, you can't go wrong with either one of these forks. They're both absolutely incredible. And if you slap one of these on your bike, you will be absolutely impressed with it, especially if you're upgrading from something older or even the previous years. Each one of these have some pretty significant differences from their predecessor of 2018. Um, to talk about that, they both have got new dampers. On the Fox side, you have the Grip 2 damper. So the Grip 2, one of the main differences between this and what's in the Lyric, this has got way more adjustments as far as number of clicks. Um, you obviously still have your high and low speed compression right here. Uh, it's completely separate from each other on both of these forks. And the Fox has a ton of adjustments. So the low speed's got around... So the high speed clicks on the Fox are super small. I mean, they're just tiny little um, adjustments. So you can fine tune this thing like crazy. The adjustments are smaller incrementally and uh, there's just more clicks. Whereas on the RockShox side, you've got a bit less when it comes to high speed. So high speed is the one that most people are messing with more often. RockShox gives you bigger gaps when it comes to the high speed and there's five positions of it and there's 20 of low speed. So most people are using low speed probably all the way off or just a little bit of it. They're not using a ton of low speed depending on what you're doing. Um, however, high speed is what you're going to play with a little bit more if you're trying to keep the fork from sinking or you're out hitting some jumps and you really want it to, you know, stay up in its travel when you're, you know, hitting big G outs or drops, things like that. So um, RockShock, a little less fine tune ability on the adjustments and that goes for the high and low speed compression as well as the rebound. So um, on the Lyric, you just have a single rebound adjustment, whereas on the Fox, you actually have a high and a low speed rebound. So you have two separate knobs um, that are sort of sheltered in this cap right here. So you've got your um, high and low speed rebound adjustment right here. So crazy amount of adjustments, right? I mean, to, for both of these forks to have this level of adjustment is wild. And uh, probably not a ton of people are even gonna, you know, be playing with this all that much. It depends on who you are. Some people are more of the set it and forget it type and other people are more of the, you know, fine tune it and play with it all the time. The cool thing, both of these forks do come with uh, sort of tuning guides out of the box um, in the manuals. And then they actually give you as well some recommended settings and air pressure settings right here and it's even on the same spot in pull fork so you can tell um you know these guys are obviously looking at each other as fierce competitors and um imitating each other to some extent but also just sort of trying to produce the best suspension on the market and hit all of the adjustments that um 
people are looking for when it comes to forks and what what riders out there are demanding that the the, the premium level suspension forks come with so um yeah head-to-head -head forks both amazing let's cut us some clips of a bike with a lyric on it right now And we're back, and now we're gonna show you some riding shots of the Fox 36 2019 with the Grip 2 damper. So if you're wondering which one of these forks is better than the other, I really don't think there's an honest answer to that. Um, and if someone tells you so, they're probably biased towards the brand for one reason or another. Both of these things, like I said, are the premium level enduro suspension forks from each brand. And both of these brands are sort of the top two big dog suspension brands in the mountain bike industry right now, as far as size and scale and popularity. Um, so not one of these is better than the other. You know, a couple of the main differences that I mentioned, the Fox has got a bit more adjustability. It has more clicks when it comes to dialing in your high and low speed compression, and it has separate um, high and low speed rebound adjustments, whereas the Lyric just has your traditional single rebound adjustment. Weights are nearly the same. Another thing to notice as far as difference on these things, um, the Lyric actually is compatible with torque caps. So I think this is sort of a rock shock proprietary thing, but the torque caps uh, basically give you a lot more surface area if you have a particular hub end cap that you can use that fits into this called torque caps um, you get a ton of surface area and the idea behind that was you pretty much have as much stiffness if not more than a 20 mil axle but you have a 15 mil axle so that's the idea with the torque caps there and that's kind of a rock shock specific thing um, that the Fox doesn't have so they they both have subtle little differences but at the end of the day these things are very similar forks and both absolutely amazing. You can't go wrong with either one. We're gonna drop a link in the video description that's got a blog that goes way more in depth of the technical nerdy stuff and like really detailed um, sort of write up on how they feel different and in different scenarios. So check that blog out if you wanna dive into even more of the nerdy stuff and the differences of these forks. And uh, that's about it. Let us know which one of these forks you guys prefer or which one you would buy. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.